Hi everybody, it's Mike Bellevue here in the shop. <clears throat> and today what we're going to do is we're going to make 36 caliber paper cartridges using conical bullets. Now, you've seen me make 44 caliber paper cartridges quite a bit. Uh, and you know that the guns that we use them in have to be modified to be able to accept them because they're not made like the originals. But in the case of 36, they will load right into an unmodified uh, Colt 1851 Navy style revolver. This is an Uberti one, but they'll work on a Pieta as well. Uh, the Uberti is a little bit better for cartridges because it does have a conical friendly rammer. It's made to fit conicals. Whereas the, uh, the Pieta version only has a almost flat rammer uh, made for the round balls. So the Uberti version won't deform the nose of the bullet. Not that that really matters in practical terms, but that's, it's a little something. All right, so we're going to be making these cartridges using the system and tools put together by Balaz Nemeth, who you probably know a little bit better as uh, Cap and Ball on YouTube and he probably has the best uh, black powder channel on YouTube I think so I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with him so he makes these formers they're in two pieces right there's uh, there's the former and then there's the mandrel so the former is made out of wood and the mandrels are made out of plastic and he makes these in Hungary and they're available on his website in Europe and occasionally they're available on Era's Gone Bullet Molds website. But uh, when I checked recently, they didn't have any. So these come in 36 caliber. As you can see, Balaz has uh, personalized this for me for Duelist 1954. And they also come in 44 caliber. But today, we're going to just deal with the 36. Before you start, uh, Captain Ball recommends that you just wax up the mandrel and I'm just going to do that by rubbing it with a just a normal paraffin type candle and this is to help keep the glue from sticking to it so when you've rubbed it up some just go and uh, kind of polish it in the hole and everything is good so the system that we're dealing with here comes with the uh, the cartridge former and you'll get some instructions so the instruction sheet looks like this and it's got a template on it for the skins for making 44 or 36 caliber cartridges the dotted line up on here is if you want to use a round ball to make your cartridges which has a bigger diameter you would go up to this line when you cut it out now what I did is I traced that out and then I made a template out of heavier cardboard so this is the template that cap and ball provides that's the size but what you might find is that you've got to play around with it a bit to make it work for you so, in point of fact, this is the template I use. And I'll put these together, and you can see it's just a little bit bigger. And that makes it easier for me to glue in the bullet, which I always find to be the most problematic part of this. So, how do you do it? Well, pretty simple. Uh, let me just clear out some space here in, uh, in my bullet board. I'm just going to take these, and I'll just drop them in here for now they're waiting to be lubed so we've got this template right here and we've got to make the ends as well and I've been doing that by just taking this glue stick cap and tracing a circle on that so the first step in the process is basically to trace these out on a piece of paper right just lay them down trace them out with a pencil and then we cut them out with a set of scissors. Very simple. Now, here's, uh, here's where we have to go to work. So I'm going to get a 
Now I call these the skins, right? So we're going to use cigarette paper. I'm going to just lick the glue edge. This is why I like it, because I don't have to use a glue stick for this paper, and the glue works very well. So, you know, we, as I said, we traced them on here. We cut them out. So I'm going to take this and lick that glue edge. Just get a little bit of moisture on it. All right, now I'm going to take the mandrel. This is going to be a little hard to do with the camera in the way, but basically I want to get the paper good and tight on here. All right, good and tight. And then I'm going to seal it over. All right, so there we are. Okay, now we got to let that dry. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll make up a bunch more of those while they're drying, and then we can glue the bottoms on. All right, so to glue the bottoms on, I'm going to take this skin that I made. I'm just going to put it back on the, uh, the mandrel. I'm going to take a glue stick. Got my bottom here. Just gonna smack a little bit of glue on there from the glue stick. Go all around. All right, so then we're gonna take the mandrel. I'm put this right in the middle, and we're just gonna wrap it around. All right, then we're gonna let that dry. Pretty simple. Okay, so when it's dry, we basically have a shell on the mandrel. I'm gonna put it in here. Flatten the bottom. This one's a little sticky. All right, so we're gonna get it in the former. All right, so I'm doing this with a camera complicating my life. Uh, so ordinarily, this is actually a little bit easier than the way it looks when I'm doing this because I've got a camera in my way all the time. But uh, we've got that in, in the former. I'm going to take a brass funnel and put it inside. All right, get everything good. Okay, now I'm using a powder measure. And you've got to play around with this a little bit. The nominal amount is 15 grains. I'm actually throwing 16 grains with this, which is, is working for me. I'm using 3F Swiss powder. All right, so I'm gonna try to stay out of the way here. Close this up. All right, and now I'm gonna dump this right inside the funnel. Okay, so now I'm good. You can see the powder's in there, everything is fine. All right, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a little Elmer's glue Just going to put a little squeeze on here, not much, just to work with. And I'm using a Colt Cartridge Works replica 36 caliber conical ball. All right, this is from a mold made by Erisgon Bullet Molds, and it is an historically accurate Civil War era bullet. Uh, and that's that's what we're going to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of glue and I'm just going to paint around the heel and the heel is this bottom part of the bullet that goes into the paper. I want a good glue bond on that. All right, so I'm just going to paint that around the side and then I'm going to seat it inside the paper cartridge. So I'm going to kind of crunch it down a little bit right? because I want a good bond. And then I'm going to just hold it a bit because I want the glue to get a good bite on the bullet. All right, so now I'm going to put it in here and I'm just going to let that dry. And uh, when it does, it's going to look 
just like this and we'll be good to go now the last step in the process is to lube them and you can either dip them in hot lube before you go to shoot which which I will do off camera or you can just lube the chamber mouths uh, after you've loaded the bullets whatever you prefer to do but we're good to go and by taking a little bit of time now we'll save a lot of time at the range when we're ready to shoot so just to reiterate uh, you can get the Colt um, conical bullet 36 caliber conical ball at Eras Gone Bullet Molds they don't sell the made, made bullets you gotta cast them yourself but uh, it's well worth it so check them out and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up that'll help us come up uh, come up faster on YouTube when you're looking for stuff and if you are not a subscriber to our channel we hope that you'll subscribe if you like the content we got lots more good stuff like that and if you're already a subscriber and you'd like to support us on patreon we're very happy to have you do that we appreciate it very much when someone does so check out our patreon patreon page and if you can support us that's great also check out our website We've got some neat stuff happening there, all sorts of new content going up all the time. And uh, last but not least, our, our uh, Teespring t-shirt store is now directly linked to YouTube. So you can see a link to it at the bottom of the video if you want to get uh, a new t-shirt, feel free. Later this spring, we're going to be introducing a new line of t-shirts. It's going to be called the We Deal in Lead t-shirt so keep your eyes open for that but in the meantime we got lots of good stuff so we'll see you next week